Yeah, Alex, actually 8,000 fans were lucky enough to win the MLB lottery, and they're going to be taking in the sights and sounds live and in person right here in Dyersville about six hours, uh, about 12 hours from now. That's an even bigger deal this morning, though, after the news broke yesterday that MLB will not be back in Iowa in 2023. The stadium over in the distance, that's a temporary stadium they've used last year and this year, but to make it permanent, the owners need a year for construction to build up this area. It's more proof that Dyersville's draw keeps drawing a national audience because MLB hopes to come back in 2024 and last season's buzz brought more visitors to town in the last year than they've seen in a lot of years. People like the Cubs and Reds fans who've already made the pilgrimage to town this week and they've dropped a lot of money on this uniquely Iowa experience. We've seen it come up on the schedule and it was like we got to do it no matter what once in a lifetime opportunity you, we got to be there got to make it happen. You kind of get goosebumps because the, the movie is, is, you know, you think about the movie a lot when you're there and you think about who's there, but then ultimately it always comes back to baseball. And it, it's, it's, it is kind of a magical place and it feels cool. Yeah, it is a magical place and we're going to get to experience that with so many parents and kids playing catch out here behind me this afternoon. Only about 8,000 seats are in the ballpark, so actually most locals in this area can't even go to the game. So they are throwing a party in town and watching it together. It starts at the museum telling the story behind the movie that's called If You Build It. That's going to be open from 9 to 6. A fan fest at the school downtown that's going to include the Cubs and Reds legends like Fergie Jenkins and Ken Griffey Sr. They're going to be signing autographs. And an all-day party includes vendors, live music, and a watch party for all of the people in the area who want to be in town watching their town in the spotlight together. Now, first pitch for the Field of Dreams game, that's set for 6:15 tonight. And the Cubs and the Reds are following last year's example. They're going to be wearing those throwback uniforms from the early 1900s. So keep it tuned to KCCI throughout the morning for the rest of the day as well for more from Dyersville and the Field of Dreams. Everybody's excited that Major League Baseball is back in Iowa. The lawnmowers are out already getting this field ready to go. And Alex, I'm sure the excitement is building at the fair too.